Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your friend Aki. Today is the second of January, guys. Second of January, and today I am at Urban Asia Center, man. So, if you guys, if you like one of those rare guys that watched my first ever YouTube live video, you guys know that um, you know that um, I was camping out for my New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. Where I spent my New Year's Eve camping, and because of that. I missed one thing that is uh, not very but quite important as a Japanese man you guys know what it is New Year's Eve we Japanese people we eat soba noodle you know soba noodle we eat soba noodle and then we finish off the year man it's like that and because I was camping I didn't get to eat it so today I am here at Urban Asia Center to eat the soba noodle and finish off my 2020 real good you know I don't know why we eat soba noodle but I just kind of looked up online it says that you know soba noodle well soba noodle is kind of like you know easy to break the noodle itself is so soft it breaks easy compared to like the regular noodles uh, like ramen noodles you know soba noodles are very easy to you know break and that's supposed to be good luck like you know meaning like you break loose from all the bad luck from the past year and you know start your new year's fresh that's why we eat stoba noodle i didn't know that until today you know i looked online so yeah well i'm here to eat soba noodle and start off my 2021 real good man so there's like a, a soba noodle restaurant in this compound um, it's actually my first time but I heard this is like the only uh, restaurant in Yangon or maybe in whole Myanmar that serves the real authentic Japanese soba, you know? You know, like other, uh, other restaurants, they also serve like soba noodles too in like Japanese restaurants. But those, those, uh, those noodles are probably like, you know, factory made noodles. So not really like the real, real soba noodle. But this place here, yeah, this place here, Yetsu makes their soba handmade man and that's supposed to be like the real authentic way of you know the soba so yeah hoping to eat some good soba today man hello a good time to in here oh okay well. okay booking over there okay okay thank you oh very nice it's real Japanese style here. Like, uh, design. Yeah. Design is pretty nice. Oh, shit. Oh, the name. It's like a secret passage, man. It's neat, mean, man. Okay, thank you. So yeah, they prepared a room for me today because I'm gonna be filming. I don't know if they allow dining in for regular customers, you know? Yeah. All right, let's check out the menu, guys. Yeah, so this place is like a regular Japanese restaurant, you know, that specializes in soba. So they have like things other than soba too, like sushi, and sashimi and all different kinds of Japanese food. I think this place is considered like the high-end side of the Japanese restaurant, like a little bit kind of expensive, but they serve good food, I think. Yeah, the soba is here, guys, soba. Oh, yep, soba, so the way it goes is you order soba, either hot or cold, you can choose, and you can add your own topping and make your own soba, you know? Or, there's like, uh, you know, like a set soba which comes in like, I don't know, umeboshi and I don't know what it is. But if you don't want to pick eat your own topping, then there's one ready-made one for you too. Well, there's noodles too. But um, today I'm gonna just go for the regular soba, man. Simple, man, make it simple. I think that's how it should be. Uh, I have them cold. Uh, which is cold soba is 7,800 jets and 
noodle big size, I can make large size for an additional 2,800 checks. Sounds good, right? And I'll have one onigiri, rice ball. And maybe I'll add like one topping. Yeah. All right, that's all done. Alright, so while I went for my soba, like I told you guys earlier, I did my first YouTube live um, on the New Year's Eve, like starting 5 p.m. for like 45 minutes. I think it was a successful live because a lot of com viewers gave me comments and I was very happy, you know. But I, I don't know, man. I kind of got too drunk a little bit, I think. Like, my friends gave me like vodka shots I, I took like two or three shots maybe I think just two but I was drinking from earth and not before that too so I kind of got too drunk and I kind of started to sound stupid man so yeah um, I decided not to leave archive for that video but the campground I went to yeah I was at the campground doing a uh, live but um, yeah the campground I went to was very beautiful and I think you guys like should see him. Like I think it's a good campground for like a beginner camper. Like it was my first camping and I had a great time because you know everything was all prepared and like there was toilet and shower too. So it's not like really hardcore camping and it was pretty you know in it was in a what rubber field or something. Yeah, it was very nice. So I thought I will share you guys the video. I will edit it out and. So that I don't look, I don't sound so stupid, man. Yeah, check them out, man. Yeah. So guys, today is New Year's Eve, man. New Year's Eve, and today I am at Mother's Village Camping Grounds, right here. Yup. Yeah. This is where I'm gonna spend my New Year's Eve, man. You know, if you see my last video, you guys see me, you know, buying all those camping gears, right? Yup. Today, I'm gonna put that on the test, man. This is like a pond, I guess. Uh, I, I did fishing yesterday. Uh, caught like this very small fish and nothing big. Yeah, I can't do a fish in here. Um, to give you guys some detail, well, it's um, one night is 27,000 chats and it comes with food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the tent is also included. You don't really have to bring much things because they prepare everything for you, man. It's like, you know, they have like, a, you know, reception and like, a, you know, it's not like a restaurant, but like a kiosk that sells everything. So if you run out of your own food, then you can just buy like beer and everything. It's like a good place for a beginner camper, man. Yep. So this is the campground, big land of rubber farm. Yep. So you can see the chickens out here. Like, you know, in the morning, this is my second night. Today is my second night. And usually these chickens wake me up. Tent, man. What's going on, guys? Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, you guys cooking already. They're cooking without me. Okay, okay. What is that? Okay, okay. Vodka. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, Vodka. Cheers! Cheers! Happy Cheers. New Year, Boca! Cheers! Happy New Year, guys! Happy New Year, man! Lemon! <laughs> yep! So, this is my campsite, guys! I'll show you guys my tent, you know? And, yeah, that's my tent, guys! I brought um, the sheets too. All right, that's about it. So, oh yeah, the barbecue. Yeah, we barbecuing now. Yeah. All right, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be eating. Bam, bam. So, I brought this from uh, Yangon. Uh, I have the tenderloin. I have the beef tongue. I have the. Uh, beef intestines, uh, pork, and this is the Japanese Wagyu, Japanese Wagyu, man. Uh, I bought it uh, from a Japanese restaurant. This one was a little bit expensive, but, you know, for some special occasion, it's good to eat, you know. What is this? Vodka. Vodka? 
another walker came. <laughs> hey, Chia. Hey, cheers, man. Cheers. 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 Everyone. Oh! Alright man, my noodle is here man, solo noodle, check it out. Doesn't it look good? Like, it looks like a lot different from those, you know, factory made noodles man. It's real handmade. And that's the dipping sauce right here, dipping sauce. Yep, sounds, sounds good. And I ordered extra green onions, so I have more onions than what it wants. And rice ball. All right, let's eat them, man. Let's eat them. Let's eat them. Let's say goodbye to all the bad lucks from 2020 and say hello to the fresh new 2021, man. Yep. Like this thing, like breaks easy. Or you see, oh, it's like that. It breaks easy, right? Breaking apart from the. Bad luck. Alright. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Good, man. Good. Like, yeah, real soba. I think this is like the ones you can get in like good Japanese restaurant in Japan, you know? You know, there's like cheap soba restaurant all over Japan, but they don't give you this quality. This is like from good soba restaurant in Japan. Quality, you know. Mmm. Good. Oh, yeah. I think I can eat like double this, but this is already like 10,000 chat, so, you know, it's gonna be too expensive for my lunch. Rice ball. Mmm. With some seaweed in it. That is good. Yep. So good, man. So good. No joking. No joking. So good. good. Really good. Yeah. Like. I might sound like I'm promoting this restaurant. I'm not, you know. I'm like really not. I'm not like like the owner friend or anything. Like I know the owner, but not not a friend. You know. It's good soba. So it's good. I don't know about other food, but as I as far as I can say about this soba, it's good, man. You know how some people make like New Year's resolution? I don't. I make my resolution on my birthday each year actually. Yeah. Because for me, birthday is the you know, the time I started, right? Like I born on that day and that's when I began. So I like reset everything on my birthday and then set my New Year's resolution each year. Yeah. I actually do, you know. Like I, I actually do try, you know, try my best to accomplish. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. No, no, great. Great noodle. This noodle is really good. Like I finished it like entirely, you know. It's really good, but it just doesn't, you know, satisfy me too much. Like I need more volume, so yeah. Whenever I go out eating noodle, this isn't in my option because it's just not too much food for me. I 
kind of want to eat like regular volume noodle, you know? That'll make me real full, you know? Get my money worth kind, you know? And the soup, see? Deep in soup. This is a soy sauce based soup. It's very, you know, salty if you just drink it like this. So, can't drink it like this as it is. So, they give you this, this thing, it's um, soba, soba you. It's called soba you. It's just a um, boiled water. They boil the soba and you know like from the soba or the, you know, I don't know, soba flavor comes out to this water and uh, you know, maybe they add like some flavoring too but not too sure. Yeah, just basically like flavorless hot water. You add this here like this, yeah. Add them in. Um, I think most people do like this, but green onion and maybe some wasabi. Add them in too. Yeah. Add them in. It'll make a drinkable soup out of it, you know. Yeah, it's still thick. A little bit salty. <clears throat> yeah, this is how you drink them. And this soba you, this hot water, you know, boiled water is supposed to be very healthy, like more healthier than eating noodle itself. I don't know, I might be wrong, but I think I heard something like that. Mmm, it's good. Yeah. All right, that was good noodle, man. Bye bye to my bad luck 2020. It wasn't so bad luck, like I don't even know what was bad luck for me. I think you know, just my bad luck was I had to stay home most of the year, just like most of you guys. But other than that, nothing more, not nothing so much. Yeah. And 2021, 2021. Work with Shime. Right guys, I have ate my soba so I have officially moved on to 2021 man. Bye bye 2020, you know? Yeah, so since I'm in 2021, there's one thing I have to do as a Japanese, you know, in the new years. Uh, you guys know if you know like a little bit about Japanese tradition you guys might know but we Japanese we go to a shrine in the first day or the second or third I don't know you know in the beginning of each year and uh, make prayer man yeah and since I am in Myanmar I would like to go to Pagoda instead uh, Shredogon Pagoda let's go to Shredogon Pagoda uh, I don't think we'll be able to go in because it's still closed but we can go outside where we can see Shredogon Pagoda and I can make a prayer, you know? Yeah, sounds good, man. Let's go. Right, done with my prayers. Um, they wanted to tell me these are uh, birds food, bird, yeah, bird food. So I'm gonna buy some bird food from them. All right, so yeah, I had to feed a lot of birds now because those people came up and uh, I, I don't know, I couldn't resist, but yep. Thank you very much for watching my video. Press a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.